Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody. Here we are with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be continuing our retro 80s playback of NBA 2K23 on the Nintendo Switch. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any of the content on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a really big fan of the content, head over to Mikey J Productions, my main channel, and you can become a member. That's how you can support the channel and everything we got going on here. I'll also be, say that if you're curious about how I got everything set up here league wise I'll put a link right here and you can click on that and check all that out But let's get into some retro 80s playback after the intro coming in now That's one small step for man One giant leap for man JP! I want my MJP! I want my MJP! I want my MJP! Call your cable company and say I want my MJP! Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, got Ernie it. Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. And our first game has the Chicago Bulls going into Houston to take on the Phoenix Suns. And on paper, Phoenix should have most of the advantages matchup-wise, but the game starts with Reggie Theus making a good drive to the basket. And you got Jordan getting the pump and fake and laying it in for two. And he was fouled, and he will go to the line. See if he can complete the three-point play. And sure enough, he drops it in for a nice three-point play for Jordan. And then here we are. And boom! Look at that dunk. Raising up on him. And let's take a look at that again. Ooh. Yeah. Jordan raising up. And here we go with another good move by Jordan. And Jordan was really on fire in this game. Just came out like a man possessed. He's on fire! The Phoenix Suns could not guard him. And here's Reggie Theus making some plays as well. But this game was really all about Jordan. Just unstoppable, unguardable. The Phoenix Suns had no answer for him. And the Bulls are up 34-21 to at the end of one. And the start of the second quarter, Dennis Johnson comes out and gets a nice drive, taking it to the hole. And Reggie Theus also taking it to the rim strong with the two-handed jam here. And again, Jordan just had, was, they had no answer for him in Phoenix. Phoenix just had nobody that could keep up with him or guard him whatsoever. And boom, look at that dunk. Nice pass by Reggie. Boom, Takalaka! Right in your face. And at halftime, the Bulls are up 56 to 53. The Chicago Bulls bench was completely getting outclassed every time Jordan was off the floor. Chicago came ready to play. Their biggest lead of the opening period during a very exciting run was all the way up to 13 points. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Things got dicey in the second quarter as the tables turned, but they still had enough left in the tank to finish the half up by three. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. Chat, what do you think about Phoenix? Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the pitch so far. Their scoring has given them a real spark. I think we're going to expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. You see that Jordan had 37 in the first half. He starts with the third quarter with a nice drive to the hole. And here, Tom Chambers actually gets the block on Jordan. Says, get that out of here, Mike. And making life a little bit more difficult for him in the second half. 
and and Phoenix kept making charges and Jordan kept trying to answer and keep them at bay. Here he is with another great slam. Boom, and George Gervin, he, he had a, this one play, but it wasn't enough support out of him. But the Bulls lead 76 to 71 at the end of three. And here's the State Farm assist of the game. Reggie Theus passing it over to Jordan. Jordan with the pump fake, and he takes it to the hole strong for the nice layup. And that's your State Farm assist of the game. Good play by Reggie Theus there. And then hit here Dick Van Arsdale with a nice drive to the hole. He was complete he was matched up against Jordan. It was completely outclassed. Walter Davis with a nice dunk here as well. And it helps the Phoenix take the one point lead with a little under five minutes to play. And they'd go on to keep that lead. And Tom Chambers ends up as player of the game. The Chicago Bulls just had no answers for him and the other Phoenix Suns bigs and Phoenix despite the excellent play out of Michael Jordan here he is with another great move look rocking the baby to sleep but it just would not be enough on this night even though he's doing highlight play after highlight it, it wasn't enough and the Phoenix Suns take down the Chicago Bulls 105 to 98 at home and despite a heroic effort by Michael Jordan scoring over 60 points in this game the Chicago Bulls come up short mostly due to him not being able to get much help especially from his bench the bench just did not show up in this game whatsoever and Phoenix was the better deeper team on this night and here you can see Tom Chambers had 22 points 8 rebounds 5 assists 1 steal 1 block and he was 10 for 11 from the field and Charlie Scott was also solid with 20 points and two rebounds and two assists. Dick Van Arsdale, even though he was guarding Jordan all night and was completely getting smoked by him, he put in 17 points. And Alvin Adams was also solid as well for Phoenix. And Walter Davis was big off the bench for them as well. And Dennis Johnson was strong like always for them. And for the Bulls, Jordan put in 61 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and it was just not enough. Reggie Theus put in 23 and did his part to help the, help the Bulls. He actually had 9 assists as well. George Gervin only had 6 points in this game. Just not enough out of him. But the rest of the Bulls team just was missing in action on this day. Just couldn't get anything out of them, especially the bench. The bench was just awful. Every time Jordan went to the bench, the the Phoenix Suns made a run, and it, that's what ended up, you know, carrying them over to the lead and getting the victory in this game. Craig Hodges was absolutely awful. The other scores around the league, the Philadelphia 76ers lose close one to the San Antonio Spurs. Big win for the Spurs against 76ers. And the Los Angeles Clippers blow out the Indiana Pacers. Big game out of Bob McAdoo. And the Dallas Mavericks beat the Houston Rockets pretty handily. Mark Aguirre with a big game for them. And it just wasn't enough for Houston. And in our next matchup, we have the Chicago Bulls taking on the Denver Nuggets. And the Denver Nuggets are undefeated so far in this season and are one of the powerhouses out west. But the game starts with Jordan with the huge dunk. Check this out. Rocking the baby to sleep. A beautiful play by Air Jordan. And Reggie Theus is also getting involved here early on. Nice one-handed tomahawk jam for him. And Jordan with the jump man jam. Take a look at this again. Boom, -laka -laka. And George Gervin was determined to have a better game after his last game. The nice move there, two-handed jam. And Jordan was still just on fire. He was determined after the loss they had against the Phoenix Suns. And he was want determined to take it out on the Denver Nuggets. Just look at these play after play. 
Just look at that dunk. Just absolutely beautiful. David Thompson was trying his best for the Denver Nuggets. And he, here he got a big rejection on Craig Hodges, who carried over his struggles in Phoenix into Denver and just hasn't been able to get going very well thus far in the season. And here another two-handed beautiful jam by Michael Jordan. Boom, just sensational move after sensational move. And here George Gervin still keep, keeping himself involved. Nice tomahawk jam out of him. And at halftime, the Bulls got got a nice lead against Denver in Denver, starting the game out strong for them. And Jordan is on fire once again. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. And guys, for the Bulls, how about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? You guys know I appreciate when the team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. You get those high percentage looks. And Kenny, what did you think about Denver? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. Jordan had 29 in the first half here. We start the third period with Kiki Vandeweghe with a nice drive to the hole for Denver. And here's Dan Issel. Look at this big man playing strong basketball. Gets the end one, and he's going to the free throw line to see if he can complete the three-point play. And Coach Dan Issel on the bench approves. And there he is knocking it down for the three-point play. And here's Jordan, another strong dunk, taking it to the rim. Nice two-handed jam there by Jordan. Boom, Takalaka! Jordan still remains on fire. And we end the third quarter with the Bulls out to the 72 to 58 advantage. And they need to hold strong if they want to pull off the victory here. And the State Farm assist to the game goes to Craig Hodges. Look at that great pass down the court, finding Harvey Houston for the nice play. So even though he struggled on the offensive end for himself, that was a nice play by Craig Hodges for our assist of the game. And here, Jordan with another nice drive to the hole for the layup. And here's Reggie Theus with another nice drive, two-handed jam for him. And look at that two-handed jam by Michael Jordan. Signature play by him once again. He's on fire! And Jordan ends up being our New Balance player of the game. No surprise here. After the, after the tough loss against Phoenix, he came into Denver against an undefeated team and put on a masterclass performance. And not only did he show up, but the rest of the Bulls team did as well. And he was able to get enough help and enough support to get the nice victory here tonight. And here he is with still some more highlight reels. Great one-handed jam. And the Bulls are acting able to give Denver their first defeat 103 to 81 in Denver huge victory for the Bulls especially coming off that loss to Phoenix in their previous outing and it was nice to see the Bulls reserves and the rest of their players chip in a much better in this game and really help Air Jordan you know when he needed it and allow him to get some rest and he actually had an even better game than he had against Phoenix Here's the look at the box scores. Dan Issel had 20 points, 10 rebounds for Denver, and Fat Lever, he had a decent game as well. Uh, but David Thompson, he, he needed to do more. So did Kiki Vandeweghe. It wasn't enough for them, and they just didn't get enough of a consistent effort out of their team to handle the onslaught of Michael Jordan. 67 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals. Just absolutely incredible in this game. Reggie Theus was solid with 14 points and 6 assists. George Gervin pitched in 9 points in this game, up in his effort over last game. Harvey Houston was strong off the bench for the Bulls with 6 points. And Jim Pax or John Paxson was solid with uh 
four points. Craig Hodges still continued his struggles, but he did have four assists in this game. And the Bulls big men, Brad Sellers and Bill Cartwright, are still struggling to do much of anything. And Dave Corzine off the bench as well. This is definitely the weak spot on the Bulls is their bench. And then in other scores, we have the Philadelphia 76ers picking up the big blowout victory over the Memphis Grizzlies. No surprise there. Dr. J had a big game for them. And the Sacramento Kings, they beat the Indiana Pacers pretty handily. Otis Birdsong put in 40 points for the Kings. And the Atlanta Hawks get the big victory over the Washington Wizards. Big division game for them. So a big win for Atlanta. And the New York Knicks pull off the close win against the Orlando Magic. Bernard King leads the way for the Knicks. And the Miami Heat going to Denver and hand them their second loss at home in a row. Big road win for the Miami Heat and a tough another loss at home for the Denver Nuggets. And Philadelphia 76ers going to Houston and just absolutely demolish the Houston Rockets. Dr. J leads the way for them. And the Milwaukee Bucks get a close fought victory at home against the San Antonio Spurs. And the Washington Bullets, they beat the Cleveland Cavaliers pretty handily. And the Orlando Magic get the two-point victory at home against the Memphis Grizzlies. And the Portland Trail Blazers beat the Phoenix Suns pretty handily at home. Big win for Portland. And the San Antonio Spurs go into Cleveland and get the blowout victory against the Cavaliers. Big victory for the Spurs. And then our final game of today, we have the Detroit Pistons taking on the Dallas Mavericks. A big matchup down in South Texas. And here Isaiah Thomas getting the nice drive to the hole. And they actually end the first quarter with the Pistons up 22-13. to Good, strong, early lead for the Pistons and here in the second quarter Vinny Johnson coming off the bench with a nice reverse layup for the microwave good play by him and the other reserve for the Pistons DJ Deck with the nice strong two-handed jam as well and Isaiah Thomas taking it to the hole the nice two-handed strong jam as well and look at this defensive play by the microwave getting the Block slash steal, whatever you want to call it. I think it's officially known as the block, but it's almost close to a steal. Nice play by the microwave. And at halftime, the Pistons are up 43-27 to on Dallas. Good lead at the end of two for the Pistons on the road against a good quality team. Detroit finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They're leading by 16. Kenny, what was your impression? The work they put in on the glass has been the difference maker. Truly an all-hands-on-deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive team. Rebounding is one of the stats that sometimes gets overlooked, but not tonight. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the players? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. We need to show them ball motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. And then the start of the third quarter, James Donaldson with the nice strong play, knocks Bill Ambeer down and gets the foul, and he goes to the line for a potential three-point play. Can he complete it, make the free throw? Let's see. And he knocks it down for the old-fashioned three-point play. Derek Harper gets the nice drive to the hole for the Mavericks as well. And Rolando Blackman starts the second half off with a nice strong move as well. And Dallas is actually making a charge in the third quarter and ends up cutting into the Pistons lead. And we end the third period with a closer game than we had at halftime. And the Pistons are up 60-53 to with Dallas making some moves heading into the fourth quarter. Our State Farm assist to the game goes to Kelly Tribucu finding Bill Lampier wide open for the nice, easy lay-in. Great assist by Kelly Tribucu for our State Farm assist of the game. And Derek Harper continues a strong play into the fourth quarter with another nice drive to the hole. But Mikey J ends up being our New Balance player of the game. And he was really the X factor in this one. 
Dallas really didn't have much of an answer for him. He completely dominated the matchup against Mark Aguirre, outclassed him on every play up and down the floor. Offense, defense, finding Isaiah Thomas here for the nice assist, and you know hitting the threes. Mikey J was just all over in this one, and here he is with another nice strong jam. And the Pistons win 84 to 68 over Dallas, picking up a nice road victory against one of the better teams out west. And this Pistons team is proving to be one of the elites in the NBA here early in the season. And Mikey J once again leads them to victory. And could this the new bad boys be developing here in Detroit? It's early in the season, but they're definitely looking to be one of the best all-around teams in the league on the offense and defense. And here, let's take a look at the box scores. Rolando Blackman led the Dallas Mavericks with 17 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Mark Aguirre put in 16 and 7, but he was just awful shooting the ball, completely outclassed by Mikey J. And the rest of the Mavericks just didn't get enough done. Mikey J ended up scoring 37 points, 10 rebounds, two assists, and only only one turnover really solid good game out of him Isaiah Thomas was strong with 17 3 and 4 and Vinnie Johnson once again off the bench with another good game 10 points off the bench is huge Kelly Chapuka was solid with 8 DJ Deck was strong off the bench with 6 and here in other scores we have the Boston Celtics going into Golden State and getting the good road victory especially since Larry Bird only played 1 minute or 11 minutes and only had 1 point in this one. The Los Angeles Clippers get the big home victory against the Charlotte Hornets. Bob McAdoo was huge 41-14 and 14 for him. And the Denver Nuggets get back to their winning ways with a blowout victory over the Orlando Magic at home. Kiki Vandeweghe led the way for them. And the Phoenix Suns continue their winning streak with a 111-94 victory over the Golden State Warriors. And the Sacramento Kings get the big victory over the Charlotte Hornets. And Nate Archibald was huge for them with 45 points and 11 assists. Huge game from Nate Tiny Archibald to lead Sacramento to the big victory at home against the struggling Charlotte Hornets team. And then here, let's take a look at the standings. Detroit is leading the Central Division at 8-0. The Bulls are second at 3-2. Milwaukee at 3-5. And, and Cleveland and Indiana are down in the cellar here in this, this division. And let's take a look at the Southeast Division. And Miami Heat is after a strong start at 3-3. Three and three, But Atlanta seems to be charging a little bit at 3-4. And, and here in the Atlantic Division, the 76ers are leading five, with 5-2 five and two record. But Boston is right on their heels at 5-3. and three. Tough division there. And then the Pacific Division, this is really the Lakers Division to win. And they are off to the 6-1 and one lead. The Clippers are still hanging in strong as well, not to be underestimated, and Phoenix is still strong out west as well. And here in the Northwest Division, which is probably the toughest division in the league, Portland's off to the big 7-0 start, but Seattle is also strong, and Denver was undefeated until they dropped two. And here in the Southwest Division, the Dallas Mavericks are off to the early lead, and this appears to be their division for the taking. And let's look at the NBA Power Rankings and the Portland Trail Blazers lead the NBA Power Rankings and probably is deserved at this point and the Pistons are in second so good for the Pistons and the Bulls are down in eight at this point in the NBA Power Rankings. Let's take a look down at the bottom and the Pacers are in this absolute cellar. And let's take a look at the league leaders. Jordan is just huge after these two games. He's, he's up to 52 points per game. Can he break Wilt Chamberlain's record? And Dominique Wilkins is putting in 33.3. And here is the rest of the top 10. And see Mikey J can break into the top 10 with his last couple of big games and he has been able to use at 27.1 points per game for him and the rebounding leader Spencer Haywood is leading the NBA in rebounding and here's the rest of the top 10 in the rebounding statistic 
and then over an assist magic johnson is running away with the assist title and here is the rest of the league leaders here in assists and then steals old man mugsy bogues is leading who shouldn't even be in the league at this point but what can he do and here uh, Bob Love is leading in blocks but the Bulls Brad Sellers is in third so that's pretty good for him to be up that high in blocks but uh, we still need some more good play out of him and then the rookie report Jordan is just obviously running away with rookie of the year especially averaging 50 points a game but Elijah Wan, Sam Bowie, John Stockton, Charles Barkley they're all having solid seasons as well uh, Barkley's leading in rebounds per game no big surprise there and John Stockton's leading in assists per game as to be as expected Jordan's leading in steals per game and Elijah Wan is leading in blocks for all rookies and then in our next matchup we have coming next week we will see the New Jersey Nets go into Chicago to face the Bulls and here's the matchups on paper well that's it everyone thanks for watching see you next week hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you you can get it right here we got everything you want some Mikey J stuff we got the Mikey J productions for you so take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.